What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are diving into some AEW action figure news. If you guys missed our video from yesterday, we started off our news talking about the brand new Ringside Exclusive Blood and Guts 2-pack with CM Punk and MJF. And in that video, I was a DA, and I said, they're not doing an AEW Revolution Fan Fest, Brad. And technically, I was correct. However, they did show off some new stuff. I should have known better, but I had on good authority that they weren't going to do anything. But I guess the only info I I had was that there was no fan fest so therefore I was correct there was no fan fest but they did do a live stream on Twitch and I heard it was all video game related well Brad that simply was not true that was not the case and so today we have brand new AEW action figure news they had Danhausen they had Brody King they had Mark Sterling over there I want to say even Evil Uno got in on the action and they had all of them there broadcasting and opening brand new AEW action figures for the viewing public well not for the viewing public for, for the viewing audience that was there on Twitch. So they unveiled some new AEW action figures and we're going to cover it here today. I'm going to broadcast all of it to you and we're not going to get into the CM Punk MJF 2 pack. If you want my full thoughts on those figures in that pack, first of all go pre-order it over at WrestlingFigures.com Ringside Collectibles. Use code MDTOYS to save 10%. But also you can get my full thoughts and go pre-order it and all those different things. But that's the 2 pack with CM Punk and MJF. Today we're diving into the most stuff and today we're starting off with AEW Supreme Series number 3. Penta and Ray Phoenix. Man, look at these figures right here. So these these images right here were not posted of the figures on the Twitch stream. These are by, I don't even know who posted these. I think somebody put them on their story or something like that. But they have close-ups of the figures here. You can see all the details. I, I'm going to be honest with you. The stream wasn't the best quality. They had like, you know, these cameras that didn't quite capture the figures as you guys will see. It's almost like Bigfoot footage at this juncture with like kind of blurry and you're zooming in and you're trying to get all the facts of the matter. You know, we, we've seen these figures, or some of these figures up close, but we did get some brand new detailed images of some figures, and I think it's worth noting. It's definitely worth covering and everything like that. So, we have the AEW Supreme Series number 3 figures with Ray and Penta, and they come with their headdress. They have their interchangeable jackets here. You guys can see Ray Phoenix wearing his, and these are pretty badass figures. I think they look very toyetic. You got all the tattoos. You have their gears. You have the colors and the brightness and masks. I mean, they look fantastic. They really do. I think they look really, really great. I think Penta and Ray both look good. I like the jacket. The jacket bagginess there on the sculpt looks really unique for the Ray Phoenix. I think both of them come with jackets, if I'm not mistaken, but I like these. I like these a lot. We even got men on card images of them, and we got to see some different stuff. Now, I don't have any video clips or anything of them you know, interchanging the parts or posing them around and actually unboxing them. But men on card, they look great. I love how they're like both on stage here and they're both posing in the packaging. You guys can see Penta has his jacket on in the package. So these are really aesthetically beautiful. I think these figures are going to be great. I'm glad we got to see some in-hand images of the figures to see what they were going to look like. And we got to see those up-close images, which even, you know, kind of stamps it in there as being great and you know we've seen these guys a lot and we actually have two more versions of them in this video that we'll discuss but I had to cover those first because I think they look really great and they are supreme figures. Now, diving into the figures that kind of disappointed me or the figure that really disappointed me or at least on first glance is going to be the Dan Housen unrivaled figure here. And this figure, I love Dan Housen so very much, but I feel like this figure just looks a bit odd. I feel like some of the proportions are off a little bit. Maybe the head sits a little bit too tall. He just looks really big, at least. And when you see this picture of the CM Punk figure coming soon, the LJN-inspired, you have the Brody King, and then you have Dan Housen over there, I still feel like he is a, he's, he's smaller than you'd expect, like, compared to the Brody King. Like, he's not as big as he looks in other photos. But I feel like some of his proportions still are kind of big. I feel like his head, again, sits a little bit too high. I'm still really... Really excited for the figure. This is a hand-painted prototype, apparently. The jacket and everything like that. I know everybody's waiting on his shirtless figure. You know, we're going to be getting an AEW 2-pack with Hook in there. It's going to be Amazon exclusive, I do believe. And this figure doesn't look horrible. It's just, I, I don't know what I was expecting. I just feel like some of the proportions are kind of out of hand. But I think overall, when we get the figure in hand, it'll be a little bit different. It's just at my first glance, I wasn't as blown away by it as I was hoping to be. But I'm still very much looking forward to the figure having an official Danhausen. I just think I'm in the camp with everybody else where I am waiting on that shirtless Danhausen, and I think uh, I'm still excited for the figure. It's just I did want to point out some of those things. You guys can let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. But we did get to see close-ups of the Danhausen. We also got to see close-ups of the upcoming Brody King, and this guy looks so fantastic, man. We got to see these pretty like some figures. We got to see in more detail, better, clearer images, better lighting, things of that nature compared to other figures, and the Brody King. 
head sculpt looks good. I do believe this is also a hand painted prototype. So you got he's got his mask there, his boots. He looks really, really good. I actually think this figure looks fantastic as well. I like the boots. I like the head sculpt. I think that uh, when we get it in hand, it'll be better here. And again, you can see it all lined up with the CM Punk and the Danhausen straight away. And the only thing that I can really say is I hope that that little gap right there on his torso, uh, where the the stomach tattoo comes down, I hope that that's not there because it kind of breaks up the tattoo there and it kind of throws it off a little bit in my opinion. So I think that tattoo being cut off is really my only gripe with this figure, but I think everything else looks really good. I, I'm enjoying it. I can't wait to see the House of Black all up next to each other. But speaking of those guys, we actually got to see some grayed out render images of the full House of Black. So you got to see Buddy Matthews here. You got to see Malachi Black in his suit. And I'm really looking forward to this. You guys know that I love a suited body. I love a street gear. I love a promo gear. Those are the kinds of figures that I think really stand out in a collection. They really bring it together. They're the most poseable most of the time, especially from AEW and Jazzwares. They have a great track record of really high quality promo and street attires. So the Aleister Black in a suit looks great. I love the Buddy Matthews as well. Again, this is really early stages. They're grayed out prototypes. So, you know, maybe we'll see a painted prototype of those. I don't know when these exactly are going to be coming, but uh, it's going to be a little bit because we still have Unmatched Series 6. We still have Unmatched Series 7. So we do have to wait a little bit there, but... It was still really cool to see, you know, the grayed out images and uh, all those different things. We also got to see the Butcher and the Blade and Bunny as well as Abaddon or Abaddon, whichever way you want to say it. I call it Abaddon. I say Abaddon. It's like Pack and Pock, you know. But we also got to see grayed out images of them. And from what I can make out, I think these are going to be cool as well. Again, it's hard to make out the details. We saw the render images and we saw the prototype. So now it's just going to be putting those two things together or, or seeing a hand painted prototype, you know, bringing those worlds together to see exactly what they're going to look like. But it was still really cool to see these guys as well we also got to see unmatched series six which we had already seen like full promo images of these we did a full video on it but you had ruby soho you had Brody lee in his suit you had the malachi black not the not the supreme or the unmatched eight but you have the unmatched six which is going to be in his wrestling gear and apparently he already has those in hand so i'd imagine unmatched series six is probably going to be shipping out any week now we got to see santana and ortiz in their prison jumpsuits so that was really fun as well so seeing all these new figures coming soon was great i i just wish they really would have done a fan fest i guess they didn't have all of their you know their t's crossed and their eyes dotted because you know doing a, a simple setup with all these figures could have been totally plausible or doable but i guess they just figured it'd be easier to do a twitch stream which is probably way easier i'm sure to do a Twitch stream rather than to throw together an event. Maybe at AEW Revolution, maybe they'll have like a little fan area where they're selling merch or something and have these figures on display. I think that would be cool. Maybe that's something that we'll see tomorrow before the show starts or something like that maybe leading up to the event. But we also got to see AEW and Match Series 7 with Ray Phoenix, Pentagon. We got to see Hook. We got to see the LJ and Punk figure all from the same set. We got to see the Pac figure. All of these are like men on card. You guys can see them in the packaging. The Ray Phoenix even comes with a cloth goods jacket from this series which looks insane. That silver jacket jacket. Men on card looks really beautiful. The, the hook figure looks good, men on card. I think the unmatched figures look better aesthetically, men on card. You know, that silver with that blue just really, really stands out, especially when you have guys like the Ray Phoenix there, the hook there. Even the Pentagon and the red looks good. They come with both tag team championships. They even pose the figures around a little bit. And I think this new Pac figure, they posed them around with not only the screaming head sculpt, but the, you know, the blindfolded head sculpt. And both of those look really good. I think this new Pac figure looks much better than his first go around. I think the red breaks it up and it uh it just it creates a, a better aesthetically looking figure in my opinion but all these figures looked really good as well we even got to see thunder rosa from the set and just all in all it was a pretty you know it wasn't like life changing life altering just groundbreaking reveals but i still thought it was worth covering and i wanted to get your guys thoughts and break it down and talk about dan Housen and the figures and different things like that so we did get to see a decent amount of figures here i'm looking forward to all of them i i really am i can't wait to see what they look like in hand we get to get them in hand post them around things of that nature you you guys know that since the beginning i've been really excited for the aew action figures while their quality kind of fell off there for a minute there i think these next few sets are very exciting i'm just ready to get them in hand you know we've waited a while now so i am really really just eager to get them in my hands post them around see how good they feel you know see how great they are and uh, compare them to the rest of our AEW action figure collections, man. But before we get out of here, I do want to give a huge shout out to our patrons. And I have to give a shout out to our new patron that signed up yesterday to my buddy Ty Goodridge, man. Huge shout out to Ty. Been a long fan of the channel, long time member. 
and huge supporter of the channel. So huge shout out to my man Ty for signing up to the Patreon yesterday. If you guys are interested in the Patreon, link in the description below. Definitely go check it out as well as our merch store over at Pro Wrestling Tees if that's something that interests you. We're giving away a 1 of 5,000 Darby Allen this month over there on our Patreon page. So definitely go check that out. 1 of 5,000 unmatched Chase Darby Allen giving that away. And also, I do believe later on today we're doing our Patreon exclusive closet tour video that will be going up that will only be Patreon exclusive. I will be diving into all three closets around my home that have all of my collectibles and figures and different items, like all kinds of stuff. I've forgotten what's all in this, so it's going to be like lost files, kind of just diving in there, seeing what figures and collectibles have stored up in my closets, and these are all figures and stuff that have not been on display in my action figure office and toy room because there's no room whatsoever. So that's going up on the Patreon either today or tomorrow, so that is something you guys can look forward to. Again, it's only Patreon exclusive. It will not be on YouTube. Don't plan on doing a YouTube video on it. And so that if that's something that interests you, definitely go check it out. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Give me your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next video. And I might be reviewing AEW Revolution tonight. So AEW Revolution is tonight. So look forward to the review. Probably won't include figures. It'll probably just be me sitting in front of the camera talking. So we'll see about that as well. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. And I'll see you next time. We'll never